What's going on you guys and welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a freaking awesome day so far. I know I sure as hell am. This week we hit a thousand subs. In fact, we are way past a thousand subs. We're about a thousand fifty subscribers at this point. And one thing I want to point out, it only took five months. Five months, that's 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 unheard of. Like I'm almost standing here completely speechless. I don't even know how to make this intro. I am so flabbergasted. So I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. Without you, it this it, it wouldn't be possible. This is this is almost this is a dream come true for me. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. The beautiful comments, the wonderful constructive criticism. I've learned so much from each and every one of you. I wish that I could get something for each and every one of you. I I really do. I wish I could reward each and every one of you because without you guys, again, this would not be possible. So with that little rant being done and over with, <laughs> we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at an old school HP. This thing released all the way back in 2003. So this girl is definitely getting old. This was brought to me by a viewer who asked me to feature this on the channel. He does not want to disclose his name, and that's perfectly fine. But he does want me to get this PC up and running. This is his childhood PC. He said it's been sitting in his basement for like 15 years. So there's no telling what we're going to be getting into with this PC. I hope that we can get this thing up and running. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at this thing, see what we're getting into, and pray that we can get this thing up and running. Again, thank you guys so much for the support. I cannot believe where we are at in just such a short amount of time. Let's get into the video. All right, everyone, this is our PC in question. We are looking at an old school HP Pavilion 764N. As far as I know, this thing came out all the way back in 2003. We're looking at over 20 years old at this point. And she has definitely been sitting for quite some time. It's quite dusty, quite dirty, looking pretty nasty. We do have a broken front piece right here, which I do have right here. So hopefully we can get this thing reinstalled on here. Moving to the back, we have a full size PSU and we do have a graphics card. Pretty cool. I can't wait to see what kind of card this thing has on the inside. Um, another thing that I am noticing back here is it's quite dusty down here, so I'm assuming that the inside is probably going to be pretty nasty. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get this thing hooked up, see if we can get a post on this thing, and then see what we got going on on the inside. Alright, so we got this old gal all nice and hooked up and ready to go. Do y'all think that we're going to get picture on the screen? Fingers crossed. All right, so we do in fact have power. I hear fans spinning up. Let's see if we get a picture. So it looked like we had a picture there for a second and it's saying no boot drive. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and get into the BIOS on this thing. All right, so we were able to get into the BIOS on this thing and we are working with one gig of DDR RAM. We have a BIOS revision of 2003. We're working with 3.15 absolutely freaking crazy i will update this bios as far as it can get updated but let's go ahead and see what kind of cpu we're dealing with and it looks like we have an intel pentium 4. guys this thing is so old i cannot believe that this thing works after it sat for supposedly 15 years absolutely crazy so now that we know it works let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart and see what it looks like on the inside all right, so we got our side panel off here, and I'm gonna tell you guys what, this thing actually looks incredibly good on the inside. However, there is a fair bit of dust down here at the bottom, so we're definitely gonna go ahead and get that cleaned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything disconnected, get this motherboard out of here, get the graphics card out, and see what kind of card we're actually dealing with. All right, so we got everything out of the case and removed, and now that I've got everything out, I can see how dusty and dirty this thing actually is but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the parts and then we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the carnage that we got going on inside this pc so first thing i'd like to know is 
there was only one stick of DDR RAM. It's 512 megs, so we're looking at a half gig. Um, I don't know if I misread that or misspoke, but it's definitely not a gig. Um, we do have our ethernet card here. Then for our GPU, it looks like we're running a 128 megabyte GeForce 4 MX440 video card. So I have a feeling I'm probably going to go ahead and upgrade this for him to something a little bit nicer. Next up, we have our motherboard. And it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely got some dust on it, but not bad at all. Next up, we have our CD writer and CD player. And then we have our floppy drive as well. Next up, we have our PSU, which is a HIP Pro, High Pro, H-I-P-R-O, a 200 watt power supply. And then we have our top and front panel. So obviously I'm gonna give everything here a nice, good, clean, and then we're gonna go ahead, get some thermal paste on here. I can't wait to get this cooler off and see what the thermal paste looks like underneath this cooler. All right, so when it comes to our GPU, the top piece looks beautiful, absolutely spotless. But then if you go ahead and flip this thing around, you can see how much dust buildup we have on this thing. Same for our ethernet card as well. Absolutely disgusting. But the top, not bad at all. So it's pretty much the same story for all the rest of the stuff here. So again, I'm gonna go ahead, give all the stuff a nice good cleaning real quick, and then we'll see what our thermal paste looks like. All right, so we have everything nice and dusted off here. It's looking a lot better. This old gal cleans up beautiful, but I'm telling you right now, this thing was dirtier than your grandma in her 20s. This thing definitely needed some help. So when it comes to our graphics card here, this thing, in my opinion, it's pretty much useless. Obviously older stuff like this, you know, it becomes dated and it has limited means of use. So we're gonna make this thing as usable as possible. So for the GPU, we are going to go with an Asus V8420, 128 megabyte. Not a huge upgrade, but it's definitely a step up from what he was currently running. And it just, it looks cool. It's purple. It's one of my favorite colors. I've been looking for an excuse to use this card for a very long time. Uh, one thing that's kind of unfortunate about this card is one of the fan blades is broken on the cooler, but should be perfectly fine. Um, I did confirm with the viewer that it was fine to swap this card in. And we are also going to swap in some extra RAM as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so in terms of RAM, we're gonna be going with 512 megabyte sticks. It's gonna be one gig total of 400 megahertz DDR RAM. This should be a significant upgrade. This will absolutely help it run much, much faster. Um, one thing I wanted to touch bases on about the GPUs, um, when it comes to the V8420, um, it is a lot more powerful than the original graphics card that we pulled out of this old gal. Back in the day, this would have been considered a high-end card from the GeForce 4 Ti series. Uh, the MX400 is considered just a budget, entry-level GPU. So, I, I forgot to mention that, but I just wanted to make sure and touch bases on that. So, we're going to go ahead and get our cooler off of here and see what our thermal paste looks like, if there's even any left. So, I definitely see some dust buildup on here. However... This paste definitely does not look that bad considering how old it is, that's crazy. So let's go ahead and get the CPU out of here and see what it looks like. So this thermal paste, it's still pretty goopy. It's almost as if this thing was used and then just stuck away, I don't understand. Um, we have a little bit of dust going on right here, not a big deal, but the thermal paste, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's still got some life left to it, it seems. It, it's still very goopy, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and get the CPU cleaned off. All right, so we have our CPU all nice and cleaned off. Some of you might notice the fact that this is very AMD looking when it comes to the pins on the CPU. So in the very early 2000s, they actually, they stopped doing this. Um, right around the introduction of the Intel Socket 775. Um, this is known as PGA, or Pin Grid Array. 
um, the design where the CPU itself has pins that plug into a socket instead of uh, having contacts on the CPU. So very cool to see something like this. You know, I don't get to see stuff like this every day. So pretty darn cool. Anyways, we're gonna get this thing back in here, get some fresh thermal paste on here, get our cooler cleaned off and get this thing back together. All right, so we have our nice thermal paste gonna go on right here. As per usual, probably a little too much, but perfect. So let's go ahead and get our cooler back on. All right, so before we get this thing back together, I just wanted to go ahead and touch bases with you guys on how well this case actually cleans up. It looks phenomenal. This thing looks absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, with how long it sat, it's definitely got like some discoloration and some stains here and there. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that on the camera, but aside from that, this thing, it looks amazing. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing back together. When I come back, this thing is going to be ready to test again, and then we will go over the operating system that I plan on putting on here. All right, you guys, so we got this thing all back together and she looks absolutely incredible. I love these old school retro builds. This thing looks so freaking good. One thing that I will say is the fact that I wish I could do some kind of cable management in here, but there is absolutely no room for cable management. But let's take a second and appreciate how well this thing actually cleaned up. I was able to get all the gunk off the front. She looks incredible. So I have a 60 gig hard drive in here from 2002. And I'm hoping and praying that this thing actually works. Before we actually get into the operating system, we're gonna see if this thing powers up. And when it does, if it does, I'm sure it will, we're going to go over the operating system that our viewer has picked for this system. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if we can at least get into the BIOS here. So right off the bat, we have power. I can hear the fan spinning up. And we are booting up incredible so let's make sure that we can go ahead and get into the bios here and straight into the bios this thing is going to run absolutely phenomenal so in terms of our operating system he decided to go with a linux distro called anti-x or antix well, uh, depends on how you want to say it or where you're from we're going to go ahead and get that installed on here real quick see if we can get into antics and make sure that this thing is fully functional he has however asked me not to install any games he doesn't want any drivers installed which is perfectly fine with me he just wants me to get it into the operating system and make sure that this thing is functional so we're going to go ahead we're going to do that and go ahead and go from there all right, so we have our hard drive installed. Let's go ahead and see if we can boot into Linux. Fingers crossed, you guys. Let's freaking go. All right, so we do have our boot screen here. And it looks like we have Antics. And it is booting right into our OS. And there you have it, you guys. Into Linux we are. So when it comes to Antics, this is a operating system that is perfect for older systems like this. So we're running one gig of DDR RAM and look at how little usage we're actually using. We're maybe using about 10% of our total RAM. So definitely not bad. One thing I'm noticing is the fact that when it comes to our disk or our hard drive, it's saying that we have a 28 gig uh, capacity here and we have 5.93 use so right around 6 gigs however it does say on the hard drive that it is a 60 gig hard drive so not really sure what's up with that so I'll definitely have to let the uh, viewer know that you know there's something going on with that but honestly not a big deal for what he plans on using this thing for absolute win awesome system I'm so happy that we were able to bring this thing back to life.
as much as I would love to run some games on here, he asked me not to, so I'm definitely going to abide by his wishes. I would love to run some old school games on here and see what this thing can do, but again, I have to go with what he says. I'm totally cool with it. It's not a big deal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe in the world, and I look forward to the next one.